Hi, I'm Rich Torrey. Welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. All you ever need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? This week, we're going to be drawing a couple of famous lions that are forever linked because of a bit of a controversy. The first is Kimba the White Lion, created in 1966 by the legendary Osamu Tezuka, the cartoonist and filmmaker often called the father of manga and sometimes referred to as the Walt Disney of Japan. Kimba the White Lion is an anime based on Tezuka's long-running manga series, Jungle Emperor, which follows the story of three generations of lions fighting to defend their kingdom. In the series, Kimba's father is murdered. The main villain is an evil lion named Claw, who sports a black mane and a scar in place of his left eye. Claw's henchmen include a couple of spotted hyenas. Kimba's circle of friends and advisors include a bird and a sage-like mandrel. Hmm. Does that description remind you of anyone else? Well, I'll talk more about that on Friday when we draw the other lion involved in this controversy, Simba from Disney's Lion King. In the meantime, let's focus on Kimba. Before we get started, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow. Hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Okay, so let's draw Asamu Tezuka's Kimba the White Lion. <laughs> We're going to draw Kimba step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw him again and again. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I normally use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. In this drawing, Kimba is roughly two heads tall, maybe two and a half. In other words, however tall his head is, his entire body is around two of those. He's also about two heads wide as well. Okay, so let's start with that roadmap for Kimba. So there's our roadmap for Kimba the White Lion. Now we're on to step two. In this step we do what I call roughing out the features. I want to remind you that until the third and final step you want to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines to help me to know where to put Kimba's eyes, nose, mouth, muzzle, and some of the other things. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing so you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily. Alright, so let's rough out Kimba's features.
Alright, so there are the roughed out features for Kimba. So now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for the final step. In step three, we get to have fun. We get to draw in Kimba's final details. We don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work to figure that out. In this step, it's okay to draw darker, but don't press too hard or mindlessly retrace over the lines you've already drawn. Always draw with an eye on tweaking and improving until the very end. So let's draw in the details for Kimba. Alrighty, there he is, Asamu Tezuka's Kimba the White Lion. So how do you think you did? Understand, if you've never drawn Kimba or any white lion before, you cannot expect to have drawn him perfectly. You notice I don't spend time coloring Kimba during this video because I want my lesson to focus solely on the drawing process. Now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing Kimba the white lion. And with that, you can draw him again and again. And by all means, color him when you're done. I promise each time you draw him, it'll be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. For those of you who want to go a little deeper, click on the link below for my free four-part drawing series where I spend more time explaining the details details and the thinking behind each step in what I call the level up cartooning process. So I'd love to see your drawing of Kimba. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram. And don't forget to include the hashtag level up cartooning. I hope you had as much fun as I did with this one. Remember to subscribe and join me Friday when we draw Disney Simba, the other half of our controversial lion drawing week. Until then, keep drawing my friends.